But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? The first crewed mission of the Apollo program ends in disaster, with three astronauts losing their lives. NASA launches the first working orbiting space telescope, the OAO-2. Apollo 8 takes astronauts away from Earth's orbit for the first time and sends them on a flight around the moon. Three, two, one. Apollo 11 launches, sending a three-person crew on their way to the moon. Four days later, the lunar module Eagle makes touchdown on the moon at the Sea of Tranquility. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin step onto the moon, while fellow astronaut Michael Collins orbits above in the Columbia spacecraft. Armstrong and Aldrin spend 21 hours and 36 minutes on the lunar surface. Four days later, the three astronauts splash down in the Pacific Ocean, southwest of Hawaii. They bring back the first geological samples from another planetary body. The 22 kilograms of material includes 50 lunar rocks and lunar soil dug up from below the moon's surface. Four months after the first humans set foot on the moon, NASA launches Apollo 12 with another set of astronauts that lands on the lunar surface. Apollo 13 malfunctions two days into their journey when an oxygen tank ruptures. They loop around and orbit the moon before heading straight back to Earth. Apollo missions 11, 12, 14, 15, 16 and 17 all land humans on the lunar surface, resulting in 12 people setting foot on the moon. NASA's commissioned Peregrine 1 lander lands on the moon. It begins to measure how much water, carbon dioxide, and methane is below the surface of the moon, gathering data for future lunar mining operations. The James Webb Space Telescope launches. With a mirror three times larger than the Hubble telescope, it sees further into our past, closer to the beginning of time, and determines what molecules and signs of life are in the atmospheres of exoplanets. One month after launching, the James Webb Telescope reaches its target orbit, 1.5 million kilometers, 1 million miles away from Earth. The Artemis program launches a mission to the moon, sending scientific instruments and equipment in preparation for the arrival of astronauts. Earth receives the first images from the distant James Webb Telescope. SpaceX's Lunar Starship launches. It performs the first working Starship-to-Starship -starship orbit refueling, allowing it to deliver a payload of 100 metric tons to the moon for NASA's Artemis program. NASA launches rockets to begin construction of the LunaNet. Small satellites deploy to form a lunar constellation, creating the Internet of the Moon. Robotic landers, rovers, and astronauts on the moon communicate with each other and to ground stations on Earth using the new system. LunaNet provides communications during deliveries of equipment to the far side and to the polar regions of the moon. Space weather instruments send astronauts real-time alerts of incoming solar flares, giving them time to seek cover. NASA launches a crewed mission to return humans back onto the moon. The astronauts live on the space shuttle lander while exploring the moon's surface, preparing the way for future habitat construction. NASA launches two modules that begin the construction of the Lunar Gateway, a space station that orbits around the moon. It acts as a transit hub for astronauts arriving from Earth before preparing for their trip to the moon's surface and later to Mars. The Lunar Gateway grows as additional modules arrive, including modules from the Canadian, European, and Japanese space agencies. The Mulligan. On the moon, exploration begins to find water. A test mission to redirect the path of a small asteroid belt object successfully alters the path of an asteroid. Small microthrusters land on the asteroid and move it off its course by a few centimeters. The Moon Base and Gateway Space Station are fully crewed. Teams of scientists and engineers occupy the first deep space human facility all year round. <laughs> 